from how to why. For many, especially in the West, questions abound over the aborted airplane catastrophe of Christmas Day 2009. A young jihadi comes within precious minutes of delivering a devastatingly deadly Christmas package to the United States and hundreds of its citizens on board Northwest Flight 253. The apparent ease with which he's able to smuggle a powerful explosive onto the craft and the manner of igniting the chemical has forced questions about how this could have happened. But for some, the question isn't how, but why. Why would 23-year-old Umar Farouk Abdul-Muttalib, the son of a wealthy and prestigious Nigerian family, sign up for such a mission? When politicians and media ask how, they're addressing methodology. When others wonder why, they are examining motivation. When a young man of means adopts such a path, it speaks to the emptiness and alienation of material life. His posts, if accurate, reflect a mind-numbing milieu of loneliness and isolation. And if the son of one of Nigeria's wealthiest families can be lured to the way of destruction, this does not bode well for those bent on waging what they have called the war on terror. For there are tens of millions of youth living in direst poverty and powerlessness under feudal, violent, and corrupt governments all over the world who have far more acute reasons to view their present lives as an intolerable hell. Yet there is another factor that most major media have chosen to ignore in connection with these events. In March of 2009, the Transportation Security Administration, TSA, went online to search for an agency that would update their training manual for their searching staff. This 93-page document, available online for months, gave sensitive details not only on search parameters, but revealed that only 20% of bags were hand-searched, showed sample ID cards for elected officials and cops, and revealed the kinds of wires that won't set off alarms by airport screening machines. For any group which wanted to penetrate U.S. security to enter the U.S. and do harm, this was an electronic treasure trove and a welcome mat. As long as the U.S. looks at hows and not whys, there will ever be surprises and gifts from those who do not mean well. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.